it feels yeah i think it's either this one or that like there's a nice pink up there the question is what would i make with it sorry coming through what's up guys and welcome to my channel today as you can see i'm somewhere not very familiar i'm actually in shoreditch and i'm going to explore a shop that actually looks like a warehouse i've been there once and i wanted to take you guys along with me and show you what kind of fabrics they had what their price is like and maybe buy something if i see what i like so if you like to see what i get up to then keep on watching So I think these are called acetate linings. Usually we'd use them inside suiting like jackets, blazers, because they are like really nice and soft. And you would use them with woven materials because, um, is this woven? I think this is, yeah, this is woven. Well, yeah, this is a nice one. This is a really nice one. And this is a green. That's sort of like cream with polka dot. And that's a red one. That would go really nice with like a gray jacket actually. Oh, this is beautiful. So these are different types of calico. These are the type of materials you would use to make your samples or your twirls before you're actually making your real materials. That way you don't waste money and you don't waste your fabric and you can test your pattern to see if they actually work. So I need to get some today. Ah, there's so many. Oh, I don't know which one I need. So these are different types of denim and I think the price is like four pounds a meter. Different colors, different weights, different thickness. Some are a bit stretchy, some are like really stiff. And I think I might get some. I didn't plant, oh, this is super stretchy, Chase. Some very thin ones. There's so many options. Oh, that is nice. That is really nice. That would go really well for a denim, like oversized denim jacket. What's a nice color? Pink. I don't know what they call this kind of fabrics but they come with pleats already pressed into them and there was a time when Zara would make these um, culotte pants that would have these kind of pleats and it was so popular oh my god everybody had it like Zara Topshop and they have so many color options here like that is so pretty sort of like peachy orange light pinks light pinks navy blue cream like so so many options reminds me of like um isimiyaki there's a designer that works a lot with this kind of materials it's even like green brown make with this though i don't know yeah it feels yeah i think it's either this one or that like there's a nice pink up there the question is what would i make with it Laugh at me struggling. Sorry. Coming through. Coming. How much? Like how much is it? Two pounds? Three pounds? This one? Yeah. Two fifty. Okay, cool. 
two meters. Yes. Per meter? Yes. Okay. Two meters. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Three. Three meters. <laughs> Your boss said it was fine, though. We asked before we started doing anything. Yes. Three. Is it three? Is that three? Yeah, I want three. I want three for this one. You don't give student discount, do you? I'm just asking for people that would be curious, maybe. I don't think so. You don't. More than 30 meters, yes. Uh, we'll get we'll get there soon. Okay, we, soon. Get, we yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll come yeah. back and buy more. So it is a completely different day today and I have my fabrics here with me. I ended up actually buying four materials. I planned to buy two but the other two were more like impulse buying but I have no regrets and I'm going to show you guys what I got. So I have my stuff here. I spent about 23, 24 pounds for everything because um, the materials are around like two pounds per meter. 150 per meter three they were really affordable material so i ended up not spending that much and the first thing i really wanted to get was some simple calico which i've already started using by the way and why i like getting calico material from time to time is because when i have to do designs that are a little bit complicated i'm not really sure how to go about the patterns i like to test them out in calico or muslin before making it in the actual material so this is some simple calico i think it was about two pounds or 250 per meter it was the short length so it's not very wide which is annoying i don't know why i did not buy the one with long length but i got three meters and i don't think it will last very long i think i might actually need to go back to buy more but this is the first thing that took me there they had different options as you saw earlier on in this video they had like different thickness different lengths so they even had stretchy calico if and that really helps is because if your main material is stretchy you want to twirl or sample with something that is stretchy so that is the first thing i got some simple calico material the second fabric i got is this beautiful like i mean look at the shade of this blue oh just makes me so happy like seriously is this beautiful pinstripe material and this feels like cotton there is no stretch to it but i bought this material because i knew i wanted to make a shirt dress type situation i'm not really sure yet something maybe off the shoulder or in combination with another material they had this particular design in different colors in different widths of like stripes so this one i got two meters off it's really wide it's like the super wide length which is great if i want to make um a design that requires this kind of width it's like twice twice the length of my arm which is really great if you want to do something you know really extra really avant-garde the material would give you enough room to work with what do you guys think about this hair by the way i'm not really sure it's just clippings from Big Hair No Care. I'll link it down below in case you're interested. I just wanted to do something different with my hair and I just created these full bangs and a burn, a burn at the back just to switch things up, you know, once in a while. But moving on to the next material, I got this purple, I don't know what you would call this kind of pattern. I think it's called hoot tooth hooty. You know what I mean but that's sort of like print on the material and when you sort of move it against the light you can see some of the print is shiny and some of if this is not really print this is more like it's woven intentionally to create that sort of sheen when you turn the material like this so I got this in I think I got three meters because I thought it would be great to make a jumpsuit or to make a um, blazer or to make a blazer and pants sort of matching set that would be so cool with like a nice button up or like a crop top inside and i just thought this material would work really well for that design 
I don't know if I'm going to make this straight away but I just saw the fabric and I fell in love I didn't plan to get this material like I said I only plan to get the first two but this one and the last material it was just like pure impulse buying the last fabric is some simple denim I mean my love for denim was reignited when I had a lady coming for a sewing class and she brought denim material and I was like wow I have been sleeping on denim like seriously this one is really nice and stiff it would look really nice for like fitted skirt pencil skirt midi skirt trouser oversized jacket there is no stretch to it so you would want to keep that in mind when you're sewing with this kind of material i got two meters and i think it was about 350 i think this was the most expensive material i got this was about 350 a meter and they had so many when i tell you they had so many options for denim i literally spent like 15 minutes just looking at the denim sort of section before i made my mind on this one so I got two meters of this material, it's a super wide length again, I love it, I cannot wait to make something with this one. As always, if you guys have any suggestions, like, oh lord, I am open for business, please comment them down below and I would love to hear what you have in mind. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, thank you so much for watching, I hope you got some inspiration for fabrics for designs or just for a trip for yourself to find inspiration on i don't know new designs new collections and so on if you'd like to visit the shop i'm going to leave the address down below this video is not sponsored but i just thought it would be really useful to someone who is looking for a place to find a wide variety of fabrics or you just need somewhere to gather inspiration on new exciting and fresh materials so if you like to visit the shop check the description box i will leave the address and yeah go see for yourself and explore the world of fabrics like that place was so good sure i think i want to even go back again it was so nice <laughs> but anyways i'll see you guys in my next video bye